Welcome to the IPP Demonstration Site's Inclusionary Practice Spotlight presentation on Project GLAD. In this presentation, we will dive deep into the use of GLAD strategies as an inclusionary practice, as well as highlighting a case study from McMicken Heights Elementary School in SeaTac, Washington. Project GLAD, Guided Language Acquisition Design, is an instructional approach designed to support language acquisition and content area learning grounded in sheltered instruction and other language, language acquisition, neuroscience, and literacy research, GLAD strategies support students in learning both academic content and language, academic language through scaffolded, cooperative, student-centered experiences. Teachers utilizing GLAD strategies incorporate sketches, photographs, chants, and other media to bring content to life in meaningful ways. Project GLAD was designed to support emergent bilingual students understanding and language acquisition in content areas. However, the strategies reflect universally strong instructional practices that contribute to the creation of an accessible and engaging learning environment for all students. GLAD strategies are organized into six instructional categories, including focus and motivation, input, guided oral practice, reading and writing, extended activities for integration, and assessment and feedback. Studies have shown that these strategies contribute to significant growth in the areas of vocabulary, reading comprehension, and generating and organizing ideas in writing. Equally as important, however, is that implementing GLAD strategies fosters accessible and engaging content area learning, as well as the cultivation of accountability and collaborative learning communities. This mirrors the priorities and values of inclusive education. Here are some important things to remember. GLAD strategies can be incorporated within classroom routines, individual lessons, or units as language supports. There are many GLAD resources, materials, unit plans, charts, shared online, and within school communities. Creating materials can be time consuming, so if that is a barrier to providing these supports to students, seek out people to collaborate with. GLAD strategies can be utilized to create universally designed units and lesson plans, as well as offering potential modifications, accommodations, and supports as outlined in IEPs to ensure that all students can participate in meaningful and engaged ways. McMicken's inclusive education journey reflects their commitment to including all students in the general education classroom. GLAD strategies have been a key component of the strong inclusive instructional practices in McMicken's classrooms. Over the years, teachers have skillfully integrated these strategies into their everyday practice with the goals of increasing access to and engagement with content, developing language and communication, and prioritizing collaborative learning. Every second year teacher in the Highline School District, the district in which McMicken is located, has the opportunity to receive GLAD training as part of the district's induction plan. As a result, many of, the McMic of McMicken's teachers have been GLAD trained at some point in their teaching career, and these strategies have become truly ingrained in their teaching practices. Teachers work collaboratively in PLCs to develop and implement content-rich science and social studies units as well as implementing cross-disciplinary literacy units utilizing GLAD strategies. McMicken staff also work together to identify a few of the most high leverage GLAD strategies to support their learners and learning context and implemented these strategies school-wide across all subject areas. McMicken's classrooms are truly engaging content and language rich spaces. GLAD strategies have been just one piece of what makes their classrooms inclusive for all students. The GLAD strategies they've implemented also align with the school's emphasis on visible learning and universal design for learning. Ultimately, GLAD strategies can be used to support all students in flexible, context-specific ways, as we can see with the case of McMicken. Rather than being just one more initiative that teachers feel they have to implement, integrating GLAD strategies can strengthen any school community's work towards becoming even more engaging, responsive, and inclusive. For more information about Project GLAD, check out their website at ntcprojectglad.com. For more information and learning opportunities related to the Demo Sites project, please visit our website at ippdemosites.org. <laughs>